This is Michael Emery with TVOI News, and we're standing in front of the capital of Idaho and Boise, and I'm standing here with Eric Parker. How you doing, Eric? Good to see you, Michael. Good to see you. So what is it um, that we're doing here? All right, we just gotta well, tell the people out there. Well, we're here today um, in opposition of the refugee program. We, we aren't against the people, we're against the program. The security, the vetting process is, uh, it leaves something to be desired at the very least. The FBI have come out and said that there's no way to screen the, pe the individuals coming from war zones like Syria. And that's all we're here to say is that there, there needs to be a better screening process and we think the program should be halted until there is one in place, until, we can in until they can investigate the program and uh, come up with a better process. Well, you know, we really don't have national security. It seems like it's just a joke all over overseas. Look at the mess that we have in the Middle East, and it's, and it, and it's because these people that are supposed to be doing their jobs, I don't, I don't see they've done anything but make a mess of everything. Well, it seems that way, you know. Um, it, it's really hard to tell, but I know we're, we're looking at things ourselves now. Um, We've had people approach us since we started these rallies who, who have information about the refugee program and um, and we're looking at it and we're looking at it we're, we're looking at getting it to local law enforcement um, well, when you were earlier we had and, he, and I may have this on the footage where you had a picture of somebody with a uh, uh, rocket launcher what was up with that that's on his Facebook and uh, that was some of the information brought to us um, to take a look at at, at, that, at those individuals, and what and it, is it's being all done about it. Do it's you know all it? It's so blatant that a couple good old boys with Google Translate are able to jump on there and look and see what they're saying. I, I don't understand why the FBI couldn't, um, and maybe they are. Maybe we're stepping on their toes right now. But we're not willing to wait until there is an attack to oh do gosh, something. Gosh, only takes a second to aim one of those ground air heat seeking missiles to shoot down an aircraft. It, and by it, the way, didn't the, wasn't there a bunch of them stole out of uh, Benghazi? There was, there was. I, I would, I would hope that somebody gets a hold of that thing and runs the secure, uh, the the numbers on it and sees where it came from, because that's very likely. It's possible at the very least. If here's the here's here's the way it is, folks. If we can't even trust the government to get to the bottom of Benghazi and put and at least do a full blown investigation for those Stinger missiles, and what happened in Benghazi, let alone the refugee sy system. That was a it was, I mean, a, it was a shoulder fire, and um, you know I think uh, tell people what those type of rockets can do. It's no joke. It's a military grade weapon. Um, we have to assume they got it from some sort of uh, armory. I know there was an armory just recently that got robbed, um, not in Idaho. I believe it was Minnesota or something. Somewhere back east. Uh, yeah, but you know that's the kind of thing. That's how it happens. That's how they get them. Okay, folks, he's gonna bring this up. Have there you go. Have this is what they pulled off. So this is right off of his Facebook. Um, that's a live weapon. The paddles out front haven't been uh, penetrated. That's how we can tell. Um, you know, it's so blatant. It's right there on his Facebook. Uh, we would like um, it investigated um, and, and something to be done. Uh, we're just blown away that it was so blatant right there. Um, I hope you guys are watching and looking at this. I hope you guys are involved in this, FBI. I mean, what what is it going to take? We're going to have a terroristic event like in France. I mean, this is the problem. We well, do. There, there was there was four more, wasn't there? It, no, you know, it was all over, it the, was all over the all over the, the world. There was terrorist attacks last week, week before, and uh, to think that it can't happen here is asinine. Hey, 9/11 happened here, and we still haven't got to the bottom of that. No, no I mean, we haven't. And it's kind of scary when you, with the thankfully with the internet, we can research the these events and look at them for what they are, not what somebody tells us they are. So Absolutely. right now, so now as informed citizens, it's our job and duty to get to the truth of it. That's right, all. right. Somebody has to get to the truth of it. Somebody has to know what what's going on, especially well, when, here with this. It's just like this, you know. Again, there it is, guys. You know, it's right there on his Facebook. I wish somebody would take a look and, and, and get to the bottom of that. Folks, the three percenters, I've known them since they started, and um, they've done a really good job talking to law enforcement, trying to make sure that there's no uh, misunderstanding so we can work together in this crisis that we have in our nation. 
where we have people at high levels in our government that have done such a disservice that that's why we're sitting here today. Yeah, well, you know, uh, an informed citizen body is what we're trying to accomplish. Right. You know, we want to encourage a whole lifestyle change. We need involved American citizens. And you to know. be fair, right? Yes, okay. J JFK said it. We need a nation of Minutemen ready to engage and react for liberty. If you don't know who Eric Parker is, he was a guy on the bridge at Bundy Ranch. But here's the things a lot of people don't understand. The reason there was no one hurt and harmed was because citizens stood there like police officers to defend the public to their righteous protest. That's what this is. We have a right for First Amendment, and the Second Amendment guarantees it. This isn't about war or anything else. It's like citizen policing. That's basically what this is. That day, that picture, that was a reaction. That was a reaction to threats. They came on that over speaker and they said they had been authorized to use lethal force on American citizens. <laughs> on women and children that were out there, folks. That, but, hey, does Waco come to mind? There was sniper positions behind them. There was snipers in their SUVs. What I was doing was hiding. I'll be quite frank with you. When they got green lighted, I got down. Well, because that's what it was time. It was time to get down. And, you know, they ask, people ask me, well, well, who were you pointing that weapon at? I wasn't pointing that weapon at anybody. I was taking a defensive. Ready. I was taking a ready? defensive position. Right. That's what it is. Well, you know, nobody, nobody faults you for that. Matter of fact, I celebrate you doing that, as along with the thousands of other people there. Now, I guess getting back to the to why we're here, we're here to speak truth. If there's anything that you have that you'd like to give an input to to the three percenters or if you'd like to find out more about the three percenters can you tell people how they yeah, get they, in touch with the you? easiest way is right there on social media you can look us up on the facebook three percent of idaho um send us a message you know or you can just follow the page and, and see what we're up to um we need you your can help see it right there right here below is where, where all the information is and we'll keep it up for a little while well, we need your help. We need we need citizens of Idaho to get involved. You know, we'll, we'll lead the way, but we need you to get behind us and uh, show up to things like this and, and let them know. You know, inside there, not today, it's closed, I guess, but what we really want to know about is William Fish and if our sovereignty has been signed away. Um, Otter has come out and given given a couple more statements about being against the refugee program. Um, he's asked politely to the administration to please stop. Um, we don't feel that that's enough, and we're kind of curious as to why he doesn't take a stronger stance on it. And what we found is William Fish, and I think it's 11 states that have signed into it, and, and basically what it's done is signed away our right to have a say in the matter when it comes to refugees. And what we would really like to do is sit down with Governor Otter, the leadership of 3% of Idaho, and talk about our state sovereignty and whether or not it really exists. Yeah, does it exist? It seems like China comes to mind and a few other things. French owns our water rights. I mean, there's Absolutely. a bunch of there, everything. There's about. a long list, a mile long of... Uh, long train of abuse, folks. A long train of abuse. Yeah, and, and we do believe we're a sovereign state. We're a sovereign state of these United States. And, well. and that's the way it is. And that's the way we intend on keeping it. Um, right. We, I'll be quite frank, we don't care what he signed. Um, if if a recall is in order, then that's what's in order. I don't think that any of them work for the people anymore. From what I've seen over this last year and a half with TVOI News, we've asked them 20 times to respond to Benghazi and the weapons that were taken, and they then they won't respond. Everything that, and, and and so folks, that could shoot down your loved ones right there. You oh, it's Christmas time, and they're coming to visit, and Mr. Who, whoever he is, can shoot him right out of the air in a flaming Muhammad fear. Ali on the Facebook, folks. Yeah. So that guy shoots that into a mall, and it's over. It's over. That's three seconds, and it's over. There's a lot Think of desert that. outside past the uh, airport that he could hide. Well, Eric, I want to thank you so much for everything. And we just pan out out there. There's a lot of people. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming out here today and standing with us. We, we appreciate it. Without you, we couldn't do it. This is Michael Emery with the Voice of Idaho, and uh, you all have a wonderful day. This is going to take over.
thank you all for coming out. I'm Brandon Curtis. I'm the president of 3% of Idaho. This is... Thank you. This is Chris McIntyre. He's our public information officer. So listen up, please. Show Chris the respect. Show the organizations that are here. There's a lot of them here. Show them all some respect. Don't buy into this baiting. They're baiting. That's what they want to do. Amen. We've seen that the last week. Have we not? Yes. They want it on camera. They want it from the media. You know what we've dealt with the last three days from this op opposition across the street? Threats. They have physically threatened us. We have received phone calls from Boise Police Department with warnings of the threats being received by our members, families. They've tried to go after our jobs. Are we going to stand for that? No. no. Are we scared? No. no. We are not. Are we scared of our stance? No. Who comes first? I know. Who comes first? I know. Are we gonna stand for it? No. Are we racist? No. Do we hate? No. We have cultures and diversity in this whole group that's standing here in front of you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They're actually standing against that right now, aren't they? Yes. Absolutely. No, they're not. It's not new choice. I didn't ask you. Thank you. Well, sit down. So please turn towards your nearest flag. They don't know it. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Okay, first of all, I would like to address the issue of that we are a racist hate group that want to ban refugees. We all know that this is not true. If we were against refugees, we would be attacking the ones that are already here. It's not that. We are focusing on this particular program. This particular refugee program has inherent security risks where individuals who have ill intent are able to come into this country. We've seen it in Paris, we saw it in Beirut, we saw it in Mali, and we saw it in Kenya, which were largely unreported by the media. We are catching individuals who are posing as refugee at the southern border with fake Syrian passports. And a lot of this, a lot of this money that are going to these individuals should be going to veterans, should be going to the homeless, should be going to our students who could be greatly benefiting more from these federal programs. We are not racist. The individuals who have no foundation of an argument will resort to personal attacks. That is exactly what they are doing. It is a childish attempt. How many American flags do you see on that side? This is not about hate. This is not about hate. This is about security first, compassionate second. Yes. The, the two pieces about America that people fail to realize is that we need refugees, but we need them to be screened. We need their uh, personalities and their identities to be verified. There's no reason that we should be dumping millions of federal dollars into a program when we don't even know who these people are. Second of all, we do need legal immigration. We do need refugees. They build this country. They add cultural diversity. It's how this country was formed. However, we need accepting, but we also need to protect. Accepting and protecting are two parts of what make this country great. If we don't have both, we do not have a future. So we need to focus on protecting first and accepting second. We ask them that question all the time. We don't ever get an answer. The second, the second part is a majority of these refugees that are coming in, 90% of them are military-aged men. Where are the women and children? So if you've spoken with any of the organizers about doing a speech, a poem, please make your way to the top. How many of you know what an AT4 is? For your veterans out there, military, do you guys know what an AT4 is? Vietnam. Okay. I have a photo right here of a refugee in Twin Falls holding an AT4 rocket launcher. That's a live rocket That's launcher. Live. That's live. That's your Twin refugee Falls, right here. People. Does he? Hey. Here you go. Hey. 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 Eyes here. Eyes here. Does this look like a? Does this look like someone that's hurting? No. Are, are they? Oh, we got plenty for them. They're getting a whole bunch of these packets. 
Okay. <laughs> we got photos right here. These are refugees in Boise and Twin Falls, fully armed, practicing, training, building their militaries. These are confirmed refugee resettlement people right here. Look at this. That's a sniper That's position a sniper. on top of a vehicle. In Twin Falls, Idaho, do we want that here? No! Does he look like he's hurting? He needs help. No! He doesn't look hungry. No! He's training. He's waiting for a wheels on wheels. We don't want this here. This is the security we're talking about. It has nothing to do with hate. It has nothing to do with racism. This has to do with security. No! I don't want... People walking around these streets and out with the AT4 rocket launchers! No! And they can't deny that because we got the photos with the names and they're through the resettlement program. They can't dispute that, can they? No! This is about safety of our citizens, our state, and our country. Yeah. Period. It has yeah. nothing to do with anything else. No, no Paris in America. <laughs> No Paris in America. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. No Paris in America. No Paris in America. No Paris in America. No Okay, so we're going to get ready with our first speaker. The 20 year retired Air Force Major. Where's your near country? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! 